Good evening. As devastating wildfires tear through California, leaving communities in ashes and racking up billions in losses, insurance companies are pushed to the front lines, bearing the financial burden and deploying powerful strategies to respond. Tonight, we uncover the mechanisms behind these crucial responses that help rebuild lives. Tonight, my team and I will take you behind the scenes of an industry giant on how they tackle procurement spending through the year. Our project focuses on streamlining procurement strategy for a major global insurance provider, facing inefficiencies due to a lack of unified savings tracking system. With uncontrolled spending and limited transparency, our goal was to develop a data-driven framework to support smarter procurement and financial efficiency. We first consolidated data from partner and public sources, standardizing over 200 features related to vendor transactions, performance ratings, and budget breakdowns. Using exploratory data analysis, we uncovered spending patterns, then applied time series forecasting, regression models, and classification techniques to build tools that forecast savings and evaluate negotiation worthiness. These models laid the foundation for a smarter, structured procurement process. Tonight, our analysis of a major industry giant uses a sophisticated time series model, Holt Winter's exponential smoothing to capture procurement spending trends over the past three years. By examining monthly data, the model breaks down spending into its core components level, trend, and seasonality, accurately reflecting seasonal swings and growth patterns. Our backtesting shows a mean absolute percentage error of just 8.46%, confirming its precision. Looking ahead, forecasts indicate an upcoming fiscal year spend of roughly $3.38 billion, with monthly averages around $281 million. These insights offer a robust framework for smarter budgeting and strategic decision-making. Our next model was a linear regression model aimed at predicting employee benefits and figuring out which features are important in estimating the amount of benefits that employee might claim. It is to be noted that employee benefits can include phone bill reimbursements, insurance claims, and similar items. After running the regression, we found that work location is the most important predictor with hybrid working employees claiming the lowest and traveling employees claiming the highest amounts. Positional seniority within the company was the second most important predictor, with upper management typically getting around $1,700 more and middle management $400 more annually than lower management. Age and years in the organization were also important predictors, but the performance rating of employees was found to be statistically insignificant. This regression model had an R squared value of 0.57. We aim to predict whether a negotiation would be worthy or unworthy based on key factors such as the negotiators, suppliers, service, baseline cost, and the employee wage. To achieve this, we combine random forest and XG boost classifiers in ensemble model to improve prediction accuracy. Our process involved cross-validation to reduce our fitting and ensure the model generalized well. We focused on optimizing the model sensitivity to better detect unworthy negotiations. This is crucial for businesses to focus on the most profitable deals to avoid wasting resources on unproductive ones. The final model achieved an accuracy of 97.3%, with a model precision of 90.9%, and a sensitivity of 76.9%. According to the cost-saving models we developed, we designed an audit plan aimed at accessing both accuracy of model outputs and how well the company implemented these insights in practice. The audit process consists of three main parts. First, verify the data set used to train the model through cross-checking to ensure data integrity. Second, reperform the model and verify the results to confirm the accuracy and consistency of the model's output. And last, check whether the company follows the model's recommendations during the audited year and evaluate the impact of those decisions. The audit plan ensures that the model were developed based on reliable data produced consistent results and were rightly applied in decision making during the audit period. Our project developed a life cycle process to better track and manage procurement saving. We start with weekly data updates to ensure analysts use the latest financials. Then we apply machine learnings to predict potential savings, which are visualized through KPI dashboards. These insights help evaluate strategies and guide improvements. We also compare quarterly results to monitor trends and track process. By analyzing spent data, vendor cost, and industry benchmarks, we build a real-time tracking system that reduces cost and supports smarter purchasing decisions, leading to a more efficient data-driven process that supports long-term financial growth. Let's bring us to the end of our analysis. Thank you for watching.